Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting at the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time passing, please like, subscribe and share if you like the video, of course, not just for the sake of it. Um, and also for my existing subscribers, welcome. If you want to know what I discuss or talk about or how I get my inspiration, please read the description. And I tend to put links about where I got the source of the inspiration for the videos I do. Anyway, this morning's um, video is about the Haitians who are being badly discriminated in the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian. I've got a couple of voice clips um, beseeching for Haitians who they're claiming that there is voodoo that caused Hurricane um, Dorian. I mean, really and truly, it's a natural disaster. Are they going to blame the Haitians for the Tusami? Are they going to blame Haitians for the 30, 35 Category 5 earthquakes or volcanoes or whatever natural disasters? Are they going to blame Haitian for Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Katrina? I mean, what kind of madness is this? Apparently, in one of the voice clips, they're saying they're burning down the homes where they live. I mean, they haven't even got much home anyway. The majority of Haitians live on a place called Abaco Islands in the Bahamas. And that is where the Hurricane Dorian hit the worst. Apparently, um, there's 35,000 out of 350,000 who are Haitians. When you look at it from that perspective, there's not many, but it's like when you think about the UK. Um, the, the, the UK is 1% black, or 1%, yeah, 1% black. But when you look around and you see so many black people, because we're all condensed in particular areas, it looks as though we're everywhere. It looks as though the UK is overrun. The thing is, no matter where you go, there's racism, there's classism, classism. The people who are better off will always treat the poor worse. And, you know, that is what is happening. And in a place where um, a country like the Bahamas is meant to be helping people, they're discriminating against the Haitians. Apparently, there's a lot of undocumented Haitians in Bahamas who are afraid to go and seek help because they're being asked for documents, they're being asked for passports. And I'm thinking to myself, everywhere's, been, everywhere's underwater. You know, it's, a, it's something that happens suddenly. You know, a lot of people are dead. How the hell are you supposed to have paperwork? How are you, how are you supposed to prove that you're a documented immigrant. If, if the whole of the Bahamas, well, not the whole of it, but the parts that were affected have besieged, been besieged by water and all the houses have collected, collapsed and all their belongings have been destroyed, how do you prove that you're a citizen? Anyway, that is what is going on. Um, the Haitians are hiding in churches, they're being um, targeted, and yeah, they're being blamed and they're saying it's witchcraft and all sorts. I think some people, when they have it in for someone, they have it in for them anyway, and they just look for someone to blame. You know, it's like when you go to school and you get people bullying you. If it's not because you're black, it's because you're fat, it's because you wear glasses, it's because you have a funny hairstyle. People will find something. There'll always be those people who look for something wrong in someone else so they can take out their frustrations and their anger out on them. There'll always be those people. And so that's what's happening in um, Bahamas. This beautiful island that we've always associated with beautiful beaches. And, you know, I've always thought I'd love to go to the Bahamas. But I didn't know about all that discrimination. I didn't know that, you know, that's what I'm saying. You have black people hating black people. You have white people hating white people. You have Asian people hating Asian people. It's got nothing really to do with the class. It's to do with the mentality of the person. 
so anyway, let me sh let you listen to the clips. I've babbled on long enough. Um, this is the first one. They're very short. Yes, good night, good night. How are you? Oh, let me turn it up first. Uh, should have prepared this really, but not to worry. Everything okay? Yes, this is the Haitians in the Bahamas. The Bahamians are killing the Haitians. They say it's the Haitians that cause the hurricane because they're doing too much obia. They're killing people. They're doing bad things. They're devilish. So it's they that cause the hurricane in the island. So they're killing them. The house they put on fire is, I guess, there's um where the hurric the Haitians and them shelter in. You know, um after the hurricane they put them there. So they catch the place fire and thing. They're killing the Haitians. One more. This problem is gonna create a lot of chaos in that place because if I had a sister who was a Haitian and you kill my sister, dread I swear to God. I can kill back somebody for you because you can't be killing my sister saying that how oh, I'm a brother, whoever it is, saying that she's the cause of the hurricane. Because ain't no way nobody no cause of no hurricane. And people are going to retaliate and they're going to kill each other in that place. So watch what you're going to see. Because if it was me, I ain't going to take him like that. Oh. See, these are the kind of things we don't get to hear. We just get to hear from the media. We don't know what's going on. I mean, you know, who would know about discrimination in the Bahamas against Haitians? Who would know? But, you know, that's what's happening. Um, I'm just going to have a look at, quick look at my notes. Um, Haitians voodoo is blamed for Hurricane Dorian. Like I said, if you don't understand something, it's easy to blame other people. Um, let me see. Um, uh, I think I'm done most of this to be honest a uh, Haitian activists in Miami are calling for the Bahama government to suspend all immigration enforcement across the island um, because they're afraid to go and get help they're afraid to get assistance they're isolated and apparently they've been discriminated anyway but it's now worse apparently um, in times of disaster, services should be a basic right. Immigration status should not come into it. Oh dear. Um, let me see. Where Hurricane Dorian hit was where there was 70% of unregulated housing. I think what they mean by unregulated housing is that um, the Haitians had actually built houses out of planks and wood. So they weren't very strong. Um, of 2,600 residents, 20% are found to be undocumented. People are being asked for documentation at government shelters. Residents have been asked to um, walk with their passports as since the crackdown of illegal immigration in the Bahamas. So it's everywhere. It's not only the UK and the US. Um, Haitians... <coughs> Haitians, both documented and undocumented, make up Bahamans' largest ethnic minority. Apparently, one in ten Bahamians are of Haitian descent. So how can you discriminate against them when most of you are Haitian descent anyway? It doesn't make any sense. In 2009, uh, as of 2009, 39,000 Haitians out of a population of 350,000. That's according to the Bahamas Department of Statistics. But they claim it's an underestimate. I mean, that's what I mean. It's not that many, 39,000 out of 350. But like I said, like the UK, 1% of blacks and black sinks were everywhere. You know, um, Bahamians have blacks in there everywhere. They think blacks are everywhere. Um, the Bahamas um, does not automatically offer citizenship to people born there of non-Bahamian parents. That's just like the, the UK. Sometimes we're here and we think, oh, we're the only one doing things or our immigration processes. This is the only country that's doing it that way. And I thought, yes, we're paralleling with the, U, the US of A. And sometimes you think, oh, well, they're discriminating because um, they're doing it this way and they're trying to get us all out. But when you think about this, they're doing it in so many other, it's all over the world. I think the immigration 
um, legislation is worldwide. It's national. So, you know, sometimes it does feel as though people are being victimised. And I think where the victimisation comes in is how they do it. So they probably don't have a system that flags every every um, foreign national like we have in the UK and what they might have in the USA. But they're probably kind of doing it in a more fairer way. Um, on paper, Bahamas allows for stateless children born in the Bahamas to obtain citizenship between 18th and 19th birthday, but there's a lot of bureaucracy and some people just give up and they end up without documentation. So that's what happens here as well. You do get people who are not really illegal. They're undocumented, but they're not illegal. And they're undocumented because either their parents didn't register them, they can't afford to be registered. And it's the same like the Bahamas. There's such a bureaucracy that you have children who are born in the Bahamas. And because they can't be bothered with the bureaucracy, they just remain undocumented. And then they become one of the illegal immigrants, just like in the UK, just like in the US of A. The Abaco Islands is a shanty town, was home to the Bahamians, biggest Haitian immigrant community and it's completely obliterated by Hurricane Dorian. Haitians have been discriminated against because of their association with voodoo or a perceived association with voodoo um, and Bahamas has the second highest economic and social inequality in the Caribbean. I don't know who has the first, according to the Latin America Economic Outlook 2019 report. Um, there were 50 deaths, um, 1,300 missing, 15,000 without food and shelter. And of course, these numbers, they're not really accurate because there's so many undocumented people. They reckon it's thousands more than that, much more than that. It's a bit like... Um, Remember Grenfell Tower? They couldn't give correct estimates because they claim that there were a lot of undocumented people in there. So they only account for the people who are legally documented. As far as um, they were concerned, the other people didn't exist. And it's the same like in this situation. If you're not, not documented, you don't exist. Um, the Prime Minister of Bahamas says he won't discriminate based on nationality in times of disaster. And while he might not, it's the local people that the Haitians have to contend with. Sorry about that. Have to contend with. Um, in the UK, we behave as though we're the only country overrun by illegal immigrants. But there's America. Um, Australia, Canada, India, Turkey, France, and of course we have the Bahamas. Um, there's always someone worse off than you. Um, there'll always be racism and bias. Um, and the ruling class will always rule over the poor regardless of rage, age and gender. So there we have it folks. Um, yeah, I just wanted to highlight what else is going on in the Bahamas. Yes, we hear about the Hurricane Dorian and people seeking help, but all of those little socioeconomic issues we don't really hear about. So I hope this is an eye-opener for some of you and is of interest. That's all for now. Bye-bye.